Hello, 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 all my awesome, amazing, fantastic machine heads. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to episode number 11 on the St. Cali map. And the only reason I know that is I looked before we started. We have made some changes to our farm, but in a good way. We're more efficient. We're better. We're awesome. We got things moved around where we need to. And I want to thank Gutterball personally for taking the time and energy. As you can see up in the left-hand corner, it is 1 o'clock in the morning, which means we've been doing this for two hours already. Um, I will let you, I will follow him around. I'll let you, let him give you a tour. And as usual, let's get into this. I hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys are doing great. Grab yourself a drink, grab yourself a sandwich, and let's sit down and do some farming. So there you go, Gutterball. That's a pretty good intro. Let's go. Let's see what you got. <laughs> All righty. Thanks, everyone, for coming and watching the video. I hope you enjoy it. And let's get this tour done so we can get some farming done. Okay, I'm going to follow him. As you can see, we sold the uh, barn that we were keeping our hay in, and now we have three chicken barns with 800 each, which gives us, what, 2,400 chickens. Yep. So, <laughs> and over here, where our one chicken coop was, we sold that one and put this barn in. We've got auto load trailer for eggs, and I'm not really going to go through each thing we bought. No, we don't have to go through the equipment. <laughs> we'll be here all no, night. yeah, we just changed the mowers, <laughs> we changed balers, we changed bale loaders. We'll go go through it as we buy it. Gutterball is going to take the Rostel smash, and he's going to start mowing. And this is a windrower. Um, this is a swather they call it, and he's going to take that. And I'm going to come behind him, and I'm going to make some hay. So we also you put some. Go ahead. You want, I was going to say, you want to take them and show them the sheds that are uh, putting our bales in over there? Yep. Why, uh, give me a head start on you. Now, we put, we went ahead and we bought two of these sheds. Okay, now we have a massive loan to pay off, everybody. It's a hundred and, I think we're up to like 480000 that we've put, but we've just taken loans out. So we've done it legit. Uh, we put these in here and with our um, Ursa uh, bale stacker. Um, with our good friend Big A helped us get that. We are going to have two bays of hay bales, two bays of silage bales, and or three and three. Three hay. Yeah, yep. three hay, three silage, and two straw. Right. But we're going to leave our silage over here to ferment. And then as we get fermented, we're going to unwrap it, grab it with the Ursus. Oh, and by the way, Gutterball, I found your weight. It's over here by the silage. Um, oh, okay. So we're going to unwrap them so they're ready to go, and then we're going to stack them under here when they're unwrapped. So that way we can have all this space to stack silage bales, and bada bing and bada boom, and I'm not allowed to say it. Um, <laughs> so that way we're also going to reconfigure our flatbed that we were using for the bales. We no longer need that. This will be our slurry slash milk tank. Uh, we've got all the cows moved over. All but except five in the little one, and or three in the little one, and five in the big one, or seven, something like that. And then yeah, when they have like babies, that. we'll move the babies over here. Vice versa. Gutterball's got it all figured out. Um, now Better this put it all on me. <laughs> now this mower is nine meters wide, so it's the biggest piece of equipment that we have um, on the farm. But it is, it's like fits perfect for this map. It absolutely does. And don't forget, Gutterball, you can mow right to the road now. Okay. Because we've got it. Remember, That's we cleared right. out the trees. So let me get hooked up to this. Um, before we get going, you guys know how it works. You're going to lose me, but you won't lose the game sounds. I want to make sure, since we've had an awesome start and all this work, that we are recording. So give me one second. And we're good to go. Let me see here. And we are... And to let Gutterball know, we are recording. We're four minutes in already. Believe that. Wow. I'm going to use the, my tractor. And oh, you guys never noticed that each one of our tractors that we built has our license plate. Fury Machine on mine and Gutterball. <laughs> Gutterball. <laughs> <laughs> we laugh every <laughs> single time. Now, I did promise Gutterball that if now that we've spent two hours off camera... And longer than that, last time it was like 4.30 in the morning, we were still planning. Um, and then pretty much, what, another two hours today where we were trying to watch Big A's stream, we were still planning. Um, so right. a total of about four hours. So I promised him 
that going forward, I keep all the equipment nice and neat because he worked really hard at it. Um, and with 800 chickens in each pen, we make four pallets a day of eggs in each pen or each month, shall we say. So that's going to be 12 pallets. Um, what do you think of that mower so far? Oh, I'm loving it. Loving it. Now, this, like I said, look at this wind rower. We'll make it, I made it so it makes it even tighter than what you have. So we won't even have an issue picking up the bales. And look, he can windrow, and he, we don't have to come back and windrow now. We cut down by adding three pieces of equipment. We added a baler, uh, well, a pickup wagon, uh, this thing here, and the mower. And we got rid of, like, what, eight pieces of equipment? Right. Mm. And, mm. by the way, Gutterball, if you notice, that thing makes it, it makes deep, deep, deep windrows. Like, it, it mows really well. Yes, it does. And you can turn on a dime. <laughs> we'll see how it likes this hill up here. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's I think it's, like, 200 horsepower. It's not... It's not a lot, but it's not. It's also not a heavy machine. True, true. Yeah, man, it's making short work of this. This field, I'm telling you. And now that we've got two grass fields, uh, we uh -oh. are. Yeah, the only thing that's gonna you're gonna find out is if you go too fast, you'll whip around and make like do a donut, because that's what I do. But well, it's the hills getting it. It's pushing me off into the road. Yeah. We may have to, so uh, at, before you mow that, that, why don't we uh, terraform that real quick? Or I will when I get around there. Don't mow too many. Like, if, it, if it's going to cause an issue, don't mow at all until you get it terraformed. Because I don't want to, you can't really go through and put a bunch of different windrows with this thing. This keeps the windrow the same, if you know what I mean. All right. So let me construct this. And I'll go landscaping, and we'll go soften, and I'll make this huge here. And then I'll I'll fix this for, gut, for gutter ball. See? And then when I come back around, I'll get it. Yeah, you'll probably catch me because you're mowing a couple of miles an hour faster than me. Bingo. there that should that's almost makes it flat completely <laughs> good <laughs> see then i can shut mine off and yeah it didn't even make a windrow is what it did do which is good i think you shut it off didn't you but see yeah. look at this now we're saving ourselves a trip and with this little elo thing and you can find this on the in-game mod hub uh the only thing there's two things that you couldn't find on the in-game mod hub the ursus and the um uh, the mower. We had to find that off uh, King's Mods. So for those right, of you asking. Right. Um, and they're not cross-platform. They're PC only. So, unfortunately. But as you can see, what he's doing. And with that thing, uh, Gutterball, just literally keep mowing in a circle. You're doing nine meters at okay. a time. You don't have to go back. Well, I mean, you can go back and forth if you want. But if it's a legit field, you can set a worker off on it and go. Um, and right. what we're going to do today, guys, is as soon as we get this bailed up, uh, we're going to pay $50,000 back in our loan, and we're going to buy another field so that we have something to do the next day. And we're just now, we've made some tentative goals, just so you guys know, ahead of time. Uh, we want to have all of our cow pens full, all of our chicken pens full. Right before I go any further, let me know how's that working better. A lot better. Nice. A lot better. Nice. Good. See? Fixed up nice, didn't it? That it did. I'm just going to leave this little bit of grass here that I didn't get. Oh. That's fine. Don't worry about that. Yeah, we'll get it next time, next month or whatever. Um, And we want oh, we all, our, all our chicken pens full, all our cow pens full. Um, We want to own the whole map, and we want to be completely out of debt. Before we move on to yep. another map. That's what we want to do. So we're going to start now expanding. We're in episode 11 now. So we're still not going to rush though guys. So don't please don't think for a second. That we're going to rush. Okay. We're still going to do it legit. We're still going to do it the right way. We're not going to rush. 
Because we're not it, in a hurry. It is what it is. That's right. When it's done, we'll move on to another map. And we're already starting to look. But we the reason we start looking so early is because we're so fussy. As you guys notice, unlike any other content creator out there, we don't get on maps and have issues. We don't. It never sees the light of day. What it does... Now you can go... Is that needing terraforming there too? Hey, hold on. What? I wonder if you can pick that header up a little bit. Let's see that. Maybe. But remember, if, a little bit like that. Um, because what I was saying is Gutterball and I are real fussy with our maps. You never see us get on a map and have issues. Ever. If you want to start going back and forth now, you can. That's fine. I'm fine. Uh -huh, I caught you. But look, I mean, if you look over at those windrows, they're hay already. I know. Isn't that cool? So we're, we start looking. When we get about 10 to 15 episodes in, we start looking for a new map because it takes us forever to find a map that works and actually everything works on it. We get on it, we test, and we test, and we test. If there's issues on it, we don't play on it. You guys don't see it. We've been there, done that. As they said, we've been there, done that, read the book. <laughs> we're not we're not yeah, playing actually the ne the next map that we're going we're planning on going to i just downloaded it today and i'll probably start playing on it this week yep. myself and i'll do a personal let's play on it myself on the side and that's what we usually do now this map on the other hand i trusted gutterball 100 percent, and boy i'll tell you was i right <laughs> because i played a lot of hours on this thing by myself before I brought it to you. We are on literally, uh, this is our 11th episode at an hour each. So that's 11 hours. But we have a total of 42 hours on this map because the two hours we were off, we uh, the clock was at zero. So we have a lot of, between the two of us, that's 84 hours worth of a map. Yeah, if you want to start zipping around going in and out now. What do you think of that mower, though? I like it. I like it. The only thing that you don't want to do is you don't want to leave this tether on when you're going over a, another windrow because it windrows it for you. That's right. why I shut it off. Right. Look at this. We are almost mowed already. I introduced this uh, this tether windrower on by Bally Springs thing. There's so many maps I want to bring back that... I wasn't necessarily feeling right or my head wasn't right that I do want to come back with. Um, but that'll happen in time. It'll happen. It'll happen. Well, just reassures us we've got more maps that we can play. Right. And, and some, that you yep. can for your series, too. 100%, dude. 100%. I mean, there's some maps where I was on it for one episode and I got off of it because, you know, you don't feel right or something happens. And you know, you're right. just, it, it's like the game plays and all that crap, and you're thinking, ah, oh, I didn't really feel the map, but you can go back and do it again, because all of them have played, all of my Let's Plays have played tremendous. There's only been one map that we've ever had an issue with, wasn't it? And that was that uh, weird one. Remember that? that? Wastelands or something yeah. like that? Yeah, yeah. We, that's the only one, and, and we literally played on that for like an hour, and we were like, nope. And that's the one that taught us. To yep. play the map before we start recording. <laughs> you nailed it. That was that was horrible. Yep, that was the one that remember. Uh, you had to buy little tiny plots, and then mm. you couldn't even put down a uh, cow pen or anything because you were on the other plot already. It was crazy. Because right. as you guys see now, we are literally officially right now on our second cut of this. We, we remember we cut it and we bailed silage bales. Oh, yeah. So this is our Actually, second. Yeah, because we did half silage and half A on it, didn't we? Well, more like three quarters. <laughs> yeah, well, a gutter ball half. But, all that? right, so you've used this now for about half the field. Go ahead. What do you think of that, honestly, of that mower? It works great. Yep. It's not the best on, like, if you're on a slope. Yep. That's the only part that I don't really care for it, but... It is what it is. Yep. I like it. It's one of my favorite mowers, but it's still a little ways off from the John Deere brush, brush hog. That's my favorite mower. Yeah. That one. Now, this be, this little tether is by far the best tether in the game because, as you can see, we're already windrowed. 
Now, how yeah, that much is pretty cool? <laughs> how much have we added by getting those trees out of here? I well, like I said, I was I think I got like 50 bales off of this when I added that in. You watch, it was like eight or nine more bales that I got out of yep. it all. But we are excited, and we're just gonna. You know, we haven't even started clearing trees and stuff like that, but now we're at the point now where we're going to start working towards our end goals because yep. always the first probably five to ten episodes are always getting pretty much getting set up with what you need to do. Once you hit ten episodes, now you're starting to move towards your goal. Now you want to you wanna start every day saying, okay, we got to do this. And like I said, we're, we're, we're going to buy a field and we're going to pay a $50,000 loan back but we're also not going to break ourselves. We're not going to be stupid because you never know what we need. <laughs> I learned that right. so many right. times the hard way. I don't. I even did it on this map. Uh, I sold something and got up. I was like, hey, where'd our thing go? And I was like, what the heck was that? Oh, uh, <laughs> the trailer, wasn't it? You were like, yeah. where'd, the, where'd the trailer go? I go, oh, I already sold that. You're like, darn it. So I was like, <laughs> I, I'm learning so much from the guy. That I just got to slow down, relax. And just wait until you absolutely don't need the, uh, the implement anymore. Like, if it sits in one spot for, like, two, three, four months, you don't need it. Then again, as soon as I saw it, I probably need it. Well, I've played with you long enough to know mm, that sorry. when you say, well, I'm going <laughs> to... I'm going to go on a little early and start getting stuff around. I know I'm going to come in and everything already sold and buildings bought hey i did pretty good today yeah you did good <laughs> I, I, did. I will give you that i did pretty good i didn't sell anything until you were on and then i sold it uh, you were on though because <laughs> i uh had to laugh when i was waiting for it to sync up i heard the noise of you selling something and i went like <laughs> i even said Okay, what are you selling? <laughs> yeah. Well, was it the second time around or the first time? Because the second I was buying equipment. The first time around? Yeah, I was selling the shed. That was the only thing I really, yep. other than, I did sell the equipment once you got on. But the only thing I sold off right. when I was by myself was the shed. There. Now, I wouldn't I worry about. I do like this big header, man. I'm I telling do you. I like that. It's nine meters, but it turns on a dime. And you're done. It See, makes short work of the field. Yep. Man. Now you understand why Fury loves it, because you can mow even a decent-sized field with it pretty quick. It's nine meters. Right, right. I just think they should have put some sort of weight on the back, because it is a little light in the hind end. Right. And now I can come through. Either I can bale it, and you can come through and pick up the bales, or vice versa. It doesn't matter. Look at that. We just mowed that entire field, and it's already hay. Hey, we fit. Yeah, so I know. I, I was like, I was worried about that. But remember, that header does come off and hooks to the other one. But if you're smart, what you would do is just, you can go into the trees there a little bit. Um, Just put it along that one shed where we had it before. Yeah. Because I'm working do. really hard. I'm doing it on my Let's Play, too, if you guys remember. I keep telling you guys, well, um, I, Gutterball's teaching me because he is. I'm, I'm on him all the time about putting equipment away. Oh, whoops. That's and the wrong that's one. Ranger's fault. Yeah. That, yep. We played with him. Boy, was he strict about that. Ooh. I saw him on the other day playing another game. Oh, yeah, boy. I see him quite a bit. I will say one thing. This Ursus backing this thing up is a pain. Yeah. <laughs> You just kind of got to go slow and then kind of just slowly. Because if you go too fast, you'll... I've jackknifed this thing twice already. <laughs> there we go. And then we're unhooked. Now you guys know also why we took manual attach out. In theory, it's a great map. You know? It's an absolute great map. Or great, great mod. Um, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. It needs some work, that's for sure. Um, it just it isn't the same, you know, right. as the one in FS19. It just isn't the same. All right, now I'm going to bail this. Oh, you know what? I got to make sure these are 180 bales, right? Uh, yeah. 
All right, perfect. And we will get this going, and then he will come behind me with a little Ursus and pick it up and stack it into the wherever whatever shed you want over there. Now, that Ursus can only fit eight bales, but the nice thing about it, though, is um, you can stack it under the shed that we have. So, by the way, this is going to be 7,600 um, hay bales, which is pretty cool. Okay, cool. Remember, they're going to be a little bit bigger because we may have done the other ones at 150. Right, right. Do, 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 do. We're still going to do our two episodes per game day, so that'd be kind of cool. Yeah, basically the only moving around we got to do is cows every now and then. Yep. From Everything's going to be set up. The big. All right. I will tell you one thing. When we get ready to uh, move on, we will have we will have experienced every single thing on this map that we could have. Harvesting, yep. get, we're getting ready. Like um, next time, you guys, next weekend, when we come back for episode twelve, our sorghum field is ready. We will be on our second harvest already. <laughs> right, because sorghum, remember, guys, grows in four months. See, what I like about this is you can set this cruise control on this baler. You don't have to worry about it. Right. <laughs> um, but the only thing that I would have done differently, I'm a big one on, like, bigger cow pens. Um, you know, I would have definitely, without a shadow of a doubt, made it. If I was making the map, which I didn't, um, I would have made it to where the cow pens held at least 100. Have you noticed, though, a lot of the maps are like that, where they put 40, 30, yep. 50. I did notice that. Cows. You're right. And it's crazy to think, like, I mean, with 30 cows, let's face it, you're not even going to make enough milk to really make any kind of money, and you're not going right. to make enough slurry or manure to use it. So, I mean, it's crazy. What I would, I mean, but at least they're nice enough to have it to it, now. Almost every map is you can sell everything. Yep, and we can on this one too. So we're, uh, you know, the one thing Gutterball and I talked about in depth about this map, and so far I've given it a five out of five, and I've, you know, we rated it early. Usually we wait till we're done. Um, but the fields are small, but they're not like if you notice. There's two of us on this field working. And it's still taking quite a little bit of time to bale and pick up the bales and mow and Ted. And it's it's not like they're super tiny. Well, it helps, too, that we have the right size equipment. 100%. For 100%. I was going to say, you know, when you start and right. see how much easier that is to pick up the bales with now. Right. I, I want. we're not out here with 12-meter equipment. 100%. It takes two seconds to get the field done. Right. I usually play, when I play maps like this by myself, the max I usually go is nine meters. Same here. Yep. Just because of the fact that I think that when you get much bigger than nine meters, I think you're getting into the point where you're literally, you're going excessive. Now, granted, mm -hmm. the Oaks, oh boy, did I make a mistake on that map. That should have been you nothing smaller 50 than 15. Meter. Yeah, well, that one... 50 meters yeah. for that map. <laughs> to be honest with you, I should have, I should have got 20 or 20, 30, 25 meter ones um, and got it. Now, the one 10, 10 acre field wasn't too bad, but reality is that when you get 30 acres or bigger, you know, this, this little field here is what, five acres? I believe so. I think it's like 5.7 or something like that. So... That's, I mean, once you get, I mean, that uh, 30 acre field was six times the size of this one. And here I was on there with like six meter equipment trying to do it. I'm like, eh. Hey. And then I upgraded to 12 and it still was taking me, like I said, it took me 19 hours real time to get three fields ready to go. So.
Well, I should have went a little bit. Oh, you're already over? You already got eight bales off of it? Yep. Nice. Nice. All right. So then the next thing we've got to do after this is we're going to buy. We're going to pay off the loan. Like I said, we're going to buy field one. And I think it's going to need to be plowed. So if we've got time, which we will, because we're making short work of this real quick here. Um, and we will then start plowing that field and getting that one prepped. And then that will be our next project to whatever we need to finish up with that one. We've also agreed on this. Why am I going? Why was I going 15 miles an hour? I told you. That's what it was doing to me on mine. I don't it. know why. I'll fix it. There. There. I, put, I actually changed the cruise control. I'll take a look at it and see what's wrong with it. Because it might be, you know what it may be doing? It may be conflicting with the work speed mod. Remember, that's a script. Oh, yeah. That's so right. it, it's kind of just disregarding it because when I bought it, I set it up for eight miles an hour, which is more. I was wondering why I was getting bailed so fast. I was like, what's going on here? Why am I done? <laughs> that's okay. Um, But we're going to get that next field done and ready or set up to go and then the next episode you guys come back guess what we can then harvest our sorghum which is another couple of you know that's another uh stuff for our chickens we still have all the barley we haven't even barely dented the barley one thing about chickens guys we're finding out they don't eat a lot no they don't so we have eight we have uh 2400 chickens on the farm right now and we're still on the original barley that we were on. So that's good news. That is good, 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 good news. Now we are getting low on it though. I think we only have like 12,000 left, I think, if we're lucky. So we are going through it. Because right. I just put 20,000 right. in today before we started the thing. So we've got just a little bit left. Let's, uh, We'll get this going a little bit fat. Just about nine miles an hour. We'll keep it. But when it was going 15, I was like, uh, I'm almost bailed, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even notice it either. That's the problem. I did notice on this map. It, I don't know if you noticed it either. Isn't the grass texture kind of cool? It's like different. It's like wicked. Yeah. Dark. It's like dark. I like it because yeah. you can actually see where you're at. Oh, that uh, hinterland okay. map that I'm on. Right. I uh, actually got in to start reading about it and stuff. It's got a water table under the ground. Yeah, like so no man's land does. In and, yeah, if you go in and dig, mm -hmm. you can make your own cricks. You can make mm -hmm. your own pond. That's mm -hmm. pretty cool. It's That's the same, first map um, I've ever been on. Yeah, Alien Jim did the same thing when he made no man's land. He put a water table underneath it. So, it's kind of neat. See, that's a map I've never played. No Man's no Land? No Man's. I nope, had in FS19, I had 77 episodes on it that I recorded. Uh, and I did 27 episodes on it in FS22. So, I've got over 100 episodes at an hour each. So, on that recorded, that's not even counting all the time that I've played off the map. Yeah, see, when it came out in 19... That's I didn't like making my own farms then. Yeah. So and, well, we didn't have it. Remember, you couldn't you couldn't really right. do it. You were kind of stuck with the farms that they built. So once right. we got it in twenty two, we've become very spoiled. In fact, like if a map doesn't even have the ability to sell the farm, I don't even play it. Right. <laughs> it's, I'm telling you, look at the short work you're making on the bales. Oh, I know. What'd you get so far? Two. Two full loads? Yep. That's 16 right there. At And 16 at... Well, they're 9,000, not 76. The pre-chamber is 7,600. It's The big one is 9,000. So it's... I hope you didn't mess us up for our mixer now. I think I did. Uh, Yeah, well, it'll be... 
Yeah, because I think you'll only be able to put two bales in it. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out, even if we have to get a, just a little bit bigger wagon, because I'd like to be able to get it so where you can put f two and two. Right, right. Here we go. That field is cut and windrowed and bailed. All in the quick hands of a hurry. He's got them stacked. We'll drive over there. We'll see what he's got going on. And then we will do our little banking. We'll do our online banking, as they say, which I don't do in real life. But I'm still so old school, guys, that I go into the bank. I want to talk to the person. The wife does uh, online banking, but I don't touch it because I'm too worried I'm going to mess something up. I mean, Man. I do it all online. I will say one thing. These are becoming quickly my favorite little tractors. I know. I love them. I do. I love them. They just fit. Look at. Okay. So what he's doing is look at how nice that is. Oh, I got it too close. <laughs> That's all right. We're not going to stay long. I do want to check this, and I want to do some online banking here real quick and get that first field and figure out what we need to do. What are we at? Oh man! You're gonna buy the you're gonna buy the field though before you make the loan payment. Right? Yes, correct. Um, okay. these one ninety five, ninety five, ninety five, ninety five. Guess what? Oh, that's twenty nine. So two four. We'll have six silage bales ready for tomorrow. They will be ready. The first six. That's why I started stacking them. Cool. Um. Cool. 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 Turn your head, everybody. I want to make these put these close to these so I don't make a mistake. Okay, perfect. Let me turn that back off because y'all didn't need to see it. You can open your eyes again. Uh, well, wait, close them again real quick. There, open them. <laughs> there. Okay, now, Gutterball, before you, when you get all set up, you'll see how I got these spaced. The first six bales on the space are will be ready tomorrow. We can unwrap those and put them right away. Okay. The rest of them are all at 29%. But by tomorrow rolls around or next month rolls around, they'll be at 60. Remember, they take two full months. Right. All right. right. I'm going Now we've decided that we are going to buy field one here. So we are going to go in here. We're going to buy field one. <laughs> I don't have enough money. Wait a minute. What? How much is it? We can't afford Hold it. Hold on a minute. Hold on. We don't have enough for field one yet. I thought it was 33000 It's not. It's 117000 Hmm. Yeah, I thought we got a discount on that. Yeah, we did. It was $127,000. Uh, how much is this one? One sixty two. How much is thirty five? Okay. I can buy field 35, which isn't much. Or we can buy six. Oh, man. I, that blew me away. I thought that was cheaper than that. Uh, 82. So there's nothing. That's the thing is that 140, 155, 228. Um, now, we could. We could, Gutterball, take out a loan to buy that, but I don't know if you want to take out more of a loan. I did. I was looking forward to buying the field right across from the farm and kind of expanding that way. I'll take a loan out, buy it. Um, take, it's what, 117 Yeah. Take 40 more out. That way we've got extra cash if we need it. Okay. Because we're at 485 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Okay, well, like I said, it's not going to end anytime soon, guys, because uh, we got to pay a loan back now. But wait, when we start selling our eggs and our milk and everything like that. Okay, there now, as you can see. Well, I'm not going to complain. We've done all this, and we're only 400 and some thousand in debt. Normally, we're like a million plus in debt. Right. Now, this is growing so. corn, but I want to plow that in because we always got to plant chicken food, right? At least... Right. So we want to we want to get at least wheat in there. So let me go grab the plow and I'll start uh cultivating it in, right? Cuz we don't all have a plow. We have cultivators, right? Right. Right.
The blue one's mine, right? Yeah. But yeah, these uh, these tractors, and you know, I didn't even know until like um, uh, today. Today was the first time I ever learned what things were. Um, I didn't even know like the makers of IMT tractors. I, who makes them? Uh, it's originally Case, but oh, really? And then I do believe Fiat was involved with it too. Uh, yeah, we got to switch these. By the way, you can't get out. Okay. I That's can get out if what I, was a... I can get out if the other cultivator wasn't in the way, but I can't get okay. out um, with both cultivators there. So I'm doing some moving of of some stuff here. Some close your eyes stuff? No, 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 no. I'm doing it legit. I'm just oh, okay. banging into the wall 500 times. <laughs> wow, you had a flying chicken in there. Do you see that? That's crazy. He wants out. We got yep. one that got out. Catch him, catch him. That's it. I do like, too, how we've got all our bailing... Yep, we got it all set up. Stuff we, in one barn. We took a long time, guys. And you're right, backing this thing up. Yep, I wouldn't even try it. The job. I'm talking to bail loader. I'm used to 53 foot. Yeah. <laughs> the, uh... The, what is it called there? The What's worse is that little, uh... Wind rower. Oh, yeah. As much as I don't want to plow corn up, we have absolutely no use for it. We don't have any use for corn whatsoever. So we've got to right. keep our chicken feed coming and coming and coming and coming because we have 2,400 chickens we got to feed. And with wheat, I don't think, because I don't think you get a good yield off sorghum, so I think we're going to have to switch over and go to wheat at least once. Actually, I'm testing it out on mine right now. I'm trying to see doing two sorghum harvest to one wheat what you get the better of. Right. I got a little while to go, but... I don't even think I'm going to attempt to go down the hill or up the hill. Because I think that this little tractor would suffer. This this map is great because it gives you challenges to um, get what you... You know what I mean? It gives you challenges. Right. You can't just come on here and buy the biggest equipment because you'd be bumping into everything. You'd be smacking yourself into everything. But you also can't come on here with a little 70 horsepower tractor because I've done it. And you can't even get up the hill. Have you done a complete round or no? I don't. Yeah, I'm going get ready to go up. I'm on about three quarters. No, I'm, I'm leaving the... What I'm doing is coming downhill. So I'm going back up the hill and then coming back down. Yeah, it's not very efficient. Oh, okay. But this, this tractor will never, ever, ever make it up the hills. You'll be going like one mile an hour. And we want to try to get going a little bit faster. So what I'm doing is I did one headland one way. And then when I come down, I'll, I'll show you. I'll get a second one done so you can get. She turn around. It's hard to see because it's getting. I was gonna say I can't see. <laughs> in in December, guys, November, December, and January, it gets dark. It starts getting dark at like two o'clock. Well, that's not gonna help. I'll leave my lights off. We've only that's got about trying to see less less than. Well, once you do your first one, you can see where you're at. Um, we only need. Less than an hour, and we'll be done anyways for the day. We can go to the next day, and we'll be right. done recording. And then when we come back, it'll be nice and light. You'll be able to see. And the first thing we're going to do next time is we are going to harvest the sorghum for our chickies. Um, and then we will get that field all squared away, get it planted, come back over here, get this all planted. Uh, by then, that field of grass will be on stage 
one or two, right? And then our other grass will be on stage two. Because when you mow it, it takes it back to stage one, right? Right, right. This one doesn't even say a stage. That's right. I forgot. Yeah, the one there because we painted the grass on. It does down at the bottom. There, now that'll be two headlands done. Nice you, size field. Yeah, like I said, it, it's just we're, we're at the point now where, um, you know, eventually when we own all the fields and even if we have to take out a loan for everything, then we'll, at that point when we own everything, uh, we'll, we'll start thinking about paying back the loan. I don't care. We're, we're not in this to get done in like a day. You know, I, I made that epiphany, right. what was it, Wednesday of last week? Or actually about yep. a week before that. I'm, we are playing the way we want to play, and that's all there is to it. We're going to have fun. We're going to have a blast. We're going to tell stories. We're going to bounce ideas off each other, and we're just going to keep growing and growing and growing. But that, at the organic pace, not at, you know, I'm not ever, ever. Sonic. Right, exactly. Perfect words. <laughs> I don't want to be that, that content creator that you come on and a week's been gone by and you think what the heck did he do how did he make all that money did he cheat it in no right. we want to do it the way we want to do it and uh there will be times when we do sleep through the night and we, you guys come back it's the next day but it's going to be done organically you know and that's i made that decision well what's today saturday yeah well actually sunday morning now but Saturday of last week, when I talked to Gutterball for what, till four o'clock in the morning last week? Yep. That was when him yep. and I made the decision. You know, he told me point blank, you got to do what's good for Fury. You can't, you can't please everybody. And I'm not going to get into it too much because you guys already know how I feel. Well, uh, we don't want to keep harping on it, but that's the way it's going to be. Well, the thing is, you play this game to relax. Right. So why would you come on here and play this game supersonic, trying to get everything done as quick as you can and stress out over it? That's right. not why you play this game. Right. Exactly. Did you make it up the hill okay? Mm-hmm. Nice. Okay. So we'll keep. We'll start going around now. <clears throat> yeah. I don't come on. It's like it's like I don't load up truck sim for the sake of playing i don't do a run in truck sim so that i can go oh look how how many levels i'm at i play it to wake up i play it to relax um and i do farm sim the same way i don't come on here to to you know go crazy then again if you play that way so be it that's your business right. that's that's how that's you your play style, it not right ours. exactly so i am definitely not coming up the field this cultivator here must take a lot more horsepower because you seem to come right up the field. I was like, eh. You're struggling on it? Yeah, I'm getting like four. I did at the start, but then once she got rolling, she took off. Yeah. Dot when I go downhill, I get eight, eight like eight. I uh, lost three. Bad here. So what we're going to have to do, Gutterball, is leave these out until we can figure out a place to put them into the sheds. Because I think we're going to have to move right. the manure spreaders over. Ooh, this is a pain. What? Figuring out. Yeah, it's because we don't have a plow feature in. Right. We're, we're doing it with a cultivator. Right. Because if we were doing it with a plow, you'd definitely be able to see. But I'm, I'm all right right now. I can still see a little bit. There we go. Let's get us... There we go. Eight miles an hour seems supersonic. Now I'm right. I'm on the next pass next to you. So, well, we'll do. I'll just do what you did. I'll go the other side, yep. come down, and then that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna follow you so that we're because these things are what eight meters wide. So we're actually doing 16 meters at a time. And if you see everybody, that's what we were talking about on the last field. There's two of us on this, and it's still taking quite a bit. It's mm -hmm. not like we're getting them done in like a minute and a half. Yeah, you're cheating. You're making me find where to... No, I've been trying to find it myself for the last week. 
<laughs> yeah, now, I'm making it easy on you by following me. I'm just following it's your like, lights. Oh, okay. <laughs> in your in your back lights, I can see just enough. This is why um, in FS17 you couldn't do this because they would say the ground's frozen. It right. would uh, the seasons wouldn't let you um, do it. And we got about 40 minutes left, and if we can get this field cultivated, that's awesome. We're almost done. In fact, yep. the next two passes down, we'll finish it. Get it done, get it lined. Well, heck, we might be able to get it lined and fertilized before we uh, get I don't, done today. What do we got for, for manure? I don't know if we've got enough, do we? I haven't even looked, to be honest with I you. I know the one side is... Now, we are starting to get quite the buildup of slurry. Um, but we don't have a manure, we don't have a slurry spreader. Yeah, we do. No, do we? That trailer. Oh, is that a spreader as well? Yeah. Nice. All right. Well, then, ooh, ooh, ooh. That's cool, because then we'll definitely have enough to, to, one of us can slurry and the other one can manure. It's the same, right. gives you the same concept. Well, we'll use the manure up first. And I'll check when we get down here at the end of the field. Uh, this is done up here, so as soon as we get to the end, I think we'll be done. This field will be cultivated. Yep. And then I think we can whip off the lime. Do we have two lime spreaders or just one? One. Okay. Which is fine. I can follow you with the fertilizer then. Okay. But I think I gotta go down to the other place and buy lime, though, right? Because we don't have any on the farm. Yeah, I don't believe we have any on the farm. Got one little strip there, and then that's it. Yep, I'm on it. Get it, get it. Well, I'll tell you one thing. You know, you think to yourself that a uh, uh, 170 horsepower is a lot, but. <laughs> no, actually, we don't. <laughs> we don't have 170, don't we? got like 210? Yeah, we got like 200 and some now. And it's still struggling, see? So by rights on this map, you would probably need about a 300 horsepower tractor to be legit. At least. All right. A couple now. more spaces here, sections here. There we go. So that we remember too, everybody, we can still upgrade. We can go to an excise tractor up. We can go from 210 to 250. See if that makes right. a big difference. You know, we don't have to jump from 210 to 300. You know, we can jump up to 250 and see if that makes a big difference. Now, what I'm going to do is... Uh, where do you want this? Hold on, remember we're gonna move I'm gonna move both the uh okay. manure spreaders out. Let me and grab then you put your cultivator over here. Well I'm gonna I gotta start liming. We're running out of time. So I got that set out here. Okay. And then we'll get a set up. I don't know how much lime I've got, but I'm gonna use what I got up first. Ooh, I only have sixty eight hundred. I hope it's enough to do this field. Why did I stop? Ah, that's right. We're to... <laughs> I think I can. I think I can. Oh, this lime spreader, it pulls it really nice. Because it's only a lime spreader. <laughs> right. <laughs> I actually got the same sort of concept on my salt spreader for my driveway. It's uh, It pretty much runs the same way, except that it doesn't run off a of PTO. Now, I do have one that hooks to my tractor, um, but I think it, it's more... Usually, I don't use it much because it's more of a pain to get hooked up. Oh, uh, okay. So, what I usually do is my actual driveway, 
I usually run up and down it by hand with my little salt spreader that I bought from Agway. Um, and I go like three times up and down it, and it's done. But it's I have a 300-foot driveway, so it does take me a little bit. But you know what? Gives me exercise. Gives me something to do. Right. Plus, You're retired. What else do you got to do? Yeah, except play farm sim. <laughs> um, but generally speaking, when I plow, because I use the 4640 to plow, when I plow with the tractor, it generally speaks, you know, melts pretty close, especially after you drive over it a few times. So right. I generally don't use it much, but there are times when it's super icy out when I do use it. Especially if, like, the wife's at her friend's house or something, and I know she's got to drive up the driveway, then I'll usually salt it. Right. I might have enough lime to actually do this. That's going to be, be nice. Cool. Yeah, well, I've only used about a thousand, and I'm on the first headlands done. This lime spreader's oh. nice, too, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I gotta say, we've got pretty good equipment. Yeah, well, the same way, guys, that we look at uh, maps, we look at equipment the same way. We don't play. We want to make sure stuff works. And when there's nothing worse than you're trying to record content and you get up to the map or you get up to something and it doesn't work. I've had that happen, too. As they say, been there, done that, read the book. <laughs> it's like... Like a starting off with, what, 150 horse or... Yeah, yeah. 150 horsepower on this map. It didn't work. Nope. In fact, the one track to the John Deere backed up at two miles an hour. That mod, yeah. <laughs> that mod is no longer in my mod folder. Yeah, as you can see, we don't take long to get them out of here if they don't work. No. In fact, what happens with me is if it messes me up, it's like it's like the old saying goes, it's like, mess me once, haha on me, mess me twice, haha on you. It's like right. if I use it if I use something and it messes me up on my personal let's play, that's fine. But if you mess me up on a recording, yeah, <laughs> you're no longer in see my ya. mod folder. Yep. <laughs> You know, I actually learned that little trick from Mighty Mike, actually. When he messes up with a mod, he's like, testing, testing, testing. Because <laughs> he, remember that one where he's doing the fuel tank and he couldn't figure out how to get the fuel tank in the back of the truck? Oh, I felt so bad for him. I know, I was screaming at yeah, my he screen. He kept his cool so bad. So I know. Cool. It was awesome. The, he kept the, it together a lot better than I would have. Boy, that poor guy, he was like. He kept saying, testing, testing. I should have been testing. <laughs> and as content creators, the one thing that you learn very quickly is you get on and you test. And yep. because I leave my boo-boos in. Now, if it's something where I find out, like, if I crash or I, like, the, the when I was on the Oaks and I was, I had the issue with the bail flipping over, that wasn't something that was a mod issue. That was because I had it loaded sideways. I leave that right. stuff in because that's that's my fault. Um, and if I don't test and something happens, I do leave it in. I don't I don't ever take when I edit my videos. I told Gutterball I don't edit my stuff in it. I edit lighting. I edit shadows. Uh, our voices. I don't want our voices to come across all crackly and nuts. I want them to come across like the right way. So I will edit it. Um, the the so that our voices sound good. But I don't edit the gameplay at all which is why my videos um load up pretty darn quick right okay all the equipment's put away i think i i'm literally two passes away from being uh limed on this field sweet and so it's been cultivated in it's been limed and now we can technically both fertilize if we have enough uh, I know we have a slurry. Uh, I know we have enough slurry because I think there was like 23,000. Right. So this slime is working pretty good. It's go. It goes pretty good. It'll do a field this size with only 5,000. I think there was only, well, 6,000 I think I had when I started. I only got, I still got 3,000 left. Wow, I start, really? Yeah I, yeah, I started with 63% and I just hit under 30%. So it's... The slime spreader is set up right. Because I don't know, like our co-op used to do our lime on our fields. But I'll tell you one thing, um, it, they used to go a long ways. And they fly, mm -hmm. though. We're, we're kind of going slow, to be honest with you. 
Those guys, they go, they fly. Yeah, they haul. <laughs> yeah, and they use a, it kind of looks like a, a liquid sprayer, uh, the one that uses it by my house here, the co-op. Um, it looks like a liquid sprayer, but it's putting out solid, solid fertilizer. You know, it's kind of like the Titan. You know what right, I mean? Right. Now, remember, too, Gutterball, that once we get the 230 cows, we'll have plenty at that point. Right. I just got one little spot down here, and you can go. You can go. I'll get out of your way. We'll see how far you go with it. Uh, yeah, because we only got about nine minutes in game, which is about three minutes. Right. I would do what you always do when we're in the field. We'll quit in the field. Yep. So there we go. We did the whole. We've got it cultivated in and limed, and he's starting to fertilize it now. I can actually see on your thing, 90. I forgot we have the little inspector. I'm telling you guys, if you guys ever play multiplayer, make sure you guys are using that inspector mod because I can see, like, if yes. he's harvesting, I can see what, how much he's got in his thing without, like, if I technically wanted to, I could take a trailer full of manure over to him if I wanted to, and he could fill his little tank from there, which, if you want, I will. I love that mod even on my uh, personal play. Yep. When I've got workers going, I can tell where they're at and what they need. And I love that thing. Do you want me to hook up to the manure? Uh, what do we got for... Or do you want to do it just with one person? No, you can if you want. Uh, we got... Oh, There's we still plenty over there at the barns okay. by the house. Okay. Nice. Okay, about four minutes. I'll fill up. I'll head over there. We'll wrap it up. This has been a really productive uh, episode. Yes. We got one whole yes. field mowed, windrowed, and baled, and we got cultivated and limed and almost fertilized in one episode. That's pretty darn good. That is, I you know, plus we moved bales over. Gutterball stacked the bales over there, so it's been pretty good. It's been a pretty, pretty productive day. Yes, it has. Good. Okay. At about 5,000 left in this one, so crash counter. I see people are stealing our crash counters. Yeah, I noticed that too. Which means they're watching our videos, which is good. Oh, I never did change the stupid width on this <laughs> the width of the tires oh didn't you <laughs> no all right we're done here as soon as you're done with that pass we're done all righty let me get up here to the corner and, and how are you doing it. you got 57 percent left keep going keep yep, going one headland used about 50 percent of it yep shut it off or you'll run out <laughs> well not with precision right no not okay. Oh, you know what? We never bought the... That's why it's going so fast. We never bought the soil sample for this. Oh, yep. And I don't know how much it is, but... Hope it's under 20,000. Precision. Because we didn't own it before. Right. Uh, yeah, we got enough. There. Whoops. Whoa, what am I doing here? Sorry, Fury. Okay, there. Now it's registering. It only was three thousand dollars for this. Oh, okay. cool. That drives me nuts. Um, all right, guys. But. So we, I just turned your lights off because it was shining off every time I turned around. It was shining off the thing. <laughs> it was. It, it would have made nightmare for the recording because it would have shined. Um, all right, guys and gals and everybody who's watching, we made it to the end of episode 11 on the St. Cali Two Brothers Farming. So as usual, please, please, please look out for each other. Look out for yourselves. Look out for each other. And most importantly, look out for each other's families. Um, I'm stopping time, as you can see. Uh, please, please, please like, share, and subscribe to this video. I messed up my whole extra because I was messed up with those lights. But please, please, please... Uh, <laughs> Enjoy the night, the day, the weekend, whenever you're watching this. I'll get my outro fixed for next time. Sorry, guys, but that light threw me off a little bit because it messes up the recording. So on that note, guys, uh, 
I love, love, love you all. And I'm going to turn it over to Gutterball. He says goodbye, and we're out. All right. Thanks, everyone, for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, take care of yourselves. Take care of anyone that needs some help. And if you can, become a family, a personal family member. Subscribe to it. 99 cents a month. And hit that subscribe button. And we will see you guys on the next one. Perfect. Now on that note, Fairy Machine and Gutterball will catch you all on the flip side.